Welcome everyone to the Train Studio. I'm your host, Sean Morris. On the uh, Train Studio update for uh, this evening. <clears throat> it's getting pretty late uh, in the day. It's about 2 o'clock uh, a.m. my time. Uh, but I thought I'd throw up another update. Uh, just let you guys know kind of where the progress is and what I've uh, done this evening. So um, the house section's pretty much stayed the same. Um, I did finish up the tree that goes over there. And I experimented with... Uh, the roots here. Um, so what I've done is I've I've put on some uh, some lichen and added in some debris and things like that. With the roots poking out, so I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna leave that as is. Um, basically, you know, they pull away from the soil and and the soil's still kind of dangling there. So I'm not uh, sure if I'm gonna leave that uh, as is or not. Um, that's just an experimentation, I guess. Um, the roadway here, pretty much finished up uh, what I'm going to do with that. You know, some inking, some dry brushing, some coloration, highlighting the, uh, the tank tracks, and running that onto the road. <clears throat> so there you go. That's, uh, that's basically the road there, nice and dirty, and uh, it's got the... It's hard to see, but you can actually see where the tank, uh, the tank treads. I've actually extended that dirt, so you know, then the pieces have just kind of fallen off uh, the road wheels and such. Um, somebody had asked about uh, doing some more debris around the top of the bridge, uh, and yes, that was the intent. That's uh, certainly been added. And then, uh, as you can see here, I've gone ahead and put in <coughs> all of the, uh, the rock and, and such below here, so that's uh, now in place with the large uh, slate um, section so kind of that's my idea there you know blast and kind of fell um, this direction there so um, perhaps there would have been some more on this side or perhaps not just really depends um, kind of where the charge I guess would have been set so I have it kind of falling to the left and uh, that's you know that's the story kind of thing so um, it was uh, suggested to me that uh, I go in and pick out some uh, some stones on the bridge, some different colorations. So I've gone in and uh, done that, you know, just with some subtle grays. Kind of picks it up a little bit more um, drastic on this side. Uh, I think that's because we're in the shadow, but when actually getting close um, and with the eye, it's actually not that... Uh, not that distinct, but you can actually tell that there's some different color stones, so a good suggestion there. So I've done that. And then in here, I was working on the trees, so just going in and laying them in, extending the vines, uh, sorry, the roots here with the uh, with the paste to, su to suggest that they're kind of going underground. And then I've gone ahead and blended the tree in here and there. And then there's some uh, rocks hiding the uh, vines down in there, so um, that's uh, that's going to dry up, and then I'm going to continue on, um, you know, blending that in. And I was I was contemplating um, about what to do for uh, for the uh, flocking, and I was hemming and hawing about what coloration would look good, and then it just uh, kind of dawned on me the flex paste itself is basically creating a swamp floor. Um, yeah, certainly along the banks it's got that muddy sort of uh, look so really I think just tufts are going to be enough to to just really finish that swamp area off and then as I transition out that's when I can start getting into the grass don't really think there's any need to have two different color flocking here um, I think the tufts will uh, will basically uh, be able to cover most of this and you know maybe a little bit of grass here kind of flowing onto the top of the hill and then maybe a little bit there leading away, but other than that, I think the uh, the tufts are going to be enough to really finish it off. So, and nothing new to report on the road down here. So, as you can see, guys, it's uh, progressing, uh, you know, rather quickly, and the details are starting to uh, starting to add up. So, hopefully, you guys will uh, continue following the project, you know, another five six days, and I'm hoping to have it all finished. So, uh, thanks for watching, and catch you in the next video. Cheers.